Hey everybody, it's Andrew Cartwright. I've been out in the, oh my God, just uh, at a uh, Lovers and um, Friends and Lovers, amazing concert here in Las Vegas, Nevada with like 50 artists all day from 11 o'clock to 11 o'clock at night. But let's get into some good stuff. We got some waivers we're covering. I got to go back out there because Usher's going to be coming on pretty soon as well as Nelly. Also, we've got the American Finances. We've got some some uh, updates on that, $250, $300, and also what's the maximum benefits for Social Security benefits? Got a lot of stuff to cover us also. So, so much happening in the news right now. Just every time you turn around, something mind-boggling. Do you know this guy? If you know this guy, you could get $22,000 if you know where he's at. He, there is a massive manhunt underway in Texas. He's armed and dangerous, and uh, he escaped a prison bus. He also... Uh, grab the bus. This is where they're paying $22,500 reward to lead to this guy's capture. He's uh, went to jail and then, you know, uh, but this is amazing. This is today. And he escaped the transportation bus and allegedly, basically, he got, you know, took something and poked the uh, correctional officer on Thursday afternoon in Texas and authorities were offering $22,500 reward. This is unbelievable, right? You think this is like you know something that you hear you know in movies this is a real thing really happening right now 46 year old uh gonzalo lopez 46 years old he's serving a life sentence uh traveling on the bus with 15 other people somehow managed to get his shackles off and and start running he took the bus and then they shot at the bus and uh, got the back tires so he went about a mile and then went off tr went off the track um, and actually crashed. You can see it right here. Uh, that's the bus when and the people going, oh my goodness, this sucks. Anyway, I wonder if the people were with him at the time. Can you imagine? We've got the waivers to cover. We've got the $200, $300 plus maximum benefit to cover all good stuff today. My name is Andrew Cartwright. I hope you guys are doing well this beautiful Saturday. I know it's a little late getting a video out for you guys, but uh, miss you all the more. You have no idea. Uh, it is Saturday, May 14, 2022. My goal is always to give you the best access to government and private money for self, loved ones, and your family. Never missing a day here for you. Rain or shine, shiny today, actually blazing hot. Um, also, a reminder, I'm giving away $2,000. When we hit 200,000 subscribers, help us get there. Help me get there. We can get there together. Then I'm going to take a random comment, launch out $2,000. Subscribe, like, and comment, and you're entered to win the $2,000. Hopefully, we'll be giving away that real soon. So make sure you check that out. Also, check out my real estate program, $99 program, one-tenth of the price. It's normally $1,000. It's yours for like 100 bucks. Less than going out to dinner. There's a $40,000 $40, worth of information in it. And I spent $45 million or earned $45 million learning all this stuff so i got my experience in there too plus there's stocks and crypto and another channel if you want to start your own business down below um called other content free content all of it's free it's free to subscribe all that stuff but first one man jt final had a ten thousand dollar pua bill he didn't make any payments ignored the collection letters and waited for the mis mistake to be corrected as many of you are then suddenly it vanished. No 10,000 payment was owed. It just went away. He logged on to the Michigan Unemployment Insurance Agency portal and saw his $10,000 overpayment was gone. Instead of blanking, quote, make payment on the outstanding balance, Finney only saw an option to file a new claim. This is a great sign. More than 55,000 Michiganers who were asked to repay their pandemic unemployment benefits at no fault of their own, got a waiver, cleared the debt last week. Last week, people were covered. This is amazing. So many people, I know you guys are having a tough time with this. The issue stems from a mistake involving the state and federal government, and it is no fault of your own for most people. The UIA has already waived over $4.3 in overpayment payments for more than 400 thousand claimants for more and more to come they're saying so this is great news for those of you who were told that you owed money filed the claim and were upset many of you are in this situation and stuck 
well, hopefully this will come to your neck of the woods if it hasn't happened already. Meanwhile, there are some other state-run programs that putting money in pockets of low-income and medium-income families, there is. This includes a one-off, no questions asked, $300 stimulus check for being sent out to Delawareans this May. This is great. There is another $250 child tax credit payment coming to certain taxpayers in Connecticut following a new piece of legislation signed this week. This is one of the child tax credits of sort of coming into effect July 1st, 2022. As you know, there's 80, $850 billion out there, folks. You will still have to meet the income threshold and every thousand dollars for a parent's income above the current level of their basic level is a 10% reduction in payment. Even if you're not from Delaware or Connecticut, there are many other benefit programs available and we'll break some down for you and go into them as we go into this. And finally, some people can get over $1,600 or even $2,000. Let me explain. This is through the SSDI, yes, Social Security Disability Insurance. Many of you really uh, rely on and have asked about. The estimated average Social Security Disability Benefit for the disabled workers receiving SSDI is $1,358 per month. These benefits are based on the average lifetime earnings, not on household income or how severe the individual disability is. Isn't that great? If you're kept your own annual um, Social Security statement, you can, you can find what, you, uh, what you're likely to receive in the estimate benefit section. The total amount of the disabled worker and the family can receive up to 150 to 880,000 for disability work benefits. This means that eligible family members can include spouses, divorced uh, spouses, uh, children, disabled children, and adult children disabled um, be before age 22. The estimated average monthly Social Security benefit payable to the disabled worker, their spouse, and one or more children in 2022 is $2,383. Many people believe you have to be disabled for certain periods of time before you can apply for Social Security disability benefits. That isn't true. You can and you should apply as soon as you believe you are disabled. So get on the right right away if you believe that you are possibly eligible because you don't want to miss out on this money. Take care. My name is Andrew. Make sure if you haven't if you're unemployed and you need to file those unemployment benefits and you've been stuck, check now if, you're, if that's still going, the PUA. I know they're still working through a lot of processes, but uh, take care. Love you.